Hello, welcome. Let's continue our tutorial on the past questions on logarithm. This one came in elective mathematics, that's Federal Mathematics, SSE 1993. Question number 9A, section B. So, given that the log of A equals to log of A base 2 equals to 3, the log of B base 2 equals to negative 2. And the log of C base 2 equals to 5. We have to evaluate the log of 8 times the square root of A exponent 5 times B divided by C exponent 3 all to the base 2. We have to simplify this or evaluate this looking for the value. Now, if you look at this carefully, we can solve it in two ways. So in this episode, I'll use the first method, then use the alternate method in a subsequent word video so let's get into it all right so first thing in the first method what we are going to do is that we know that this is eight times the root of the product of the a and b divided by c so if that is the case multiplication is addition so we are going to separate this in terms of that addition meaning i'll be having the log of eight base two plus the log of the root of a to the power 5 b b c to the power 3 or to the base 2 so we here we know we are having base 2 so we can express it in terms of base 2 and an exponent meaning the log of 2 exponent of 3 base 2 2 exponent of 3 give rise to 8 then plus in the case of this, a square root is also taken as well, uh, a power of half. Meaning, I'll be having the logarithm of a to the power 5, b, c to the power 3, base 2. All of these raised to the power of what? Half. And I believe we are seeing that the power here simply means we can use the third law, making the power to multiply the logarithm. So in this case, this 3 is also going to multiply to give us 3, the log of 2 base 2 plus the half is coming to multiply the log of a to the power 5 b divided by c to the power 3 base 2. Good. You can see that a logarithm of a number to the same base give you 1. So this is going to be 1 times 3. That would be 3, right? In the case of this, this half is multiply everything happening to that logarithm. Then this is A times B, which means multiplication. And multiplication means what? Addition. C exponent 3 is also dividing, meaning it is also going to be a subtraction. So this will mean that I'll be having 3 plus 1 over 2. Then the whole of this become let's just say, the log of a exponent 5 base 2 plus log of b base 2 minus log of c exponent 3 base 2, or multiplying the square, uh, the half. Don't forget, multiplication of these two means addition of the a and b. The division with the C means what? The subtraction. So you can see that we have isolated all of the values you're looking for. You can see we have log A, we is having this. You are aware that this 3, uh, 5 can come forward to multiply. This 3 will also come forward to multiply. To give you only log A base 2, we will give you 3. So let's rewrite that as 3 plus 1 on 2. The 5 is coming to multiply the log of A base 2, the log of B base 2, minus the 3 is coming to multiply the log of C base 2. So now we can do our substitution by saying that log A is 3. So this is going to be 3 plus half multiplying 5 times 3. 5 is multiplying log A, which is 3. Then we have plus 
log b which is going to be negative 2 so negative 2 minus the log c is 5 so this 3 will be multiplied 5 or still multiplying our half let's maintain the half the first and the half let's see what happens in that bracket you know this is going to be 15 right 3 5 15 3 5 15 15 minus 15 that will be 0 so we left with only a negative 2 so this become 3 plus half of negative 2 will give you a negative 1 so 3 plus negative 1 will give us 2 meaning the evaluation of this will give us 2 I guess you follow through with the laws of logarithm bringing them to bear we can be able to solve this question without ease all right share this like comment and come back to watch the alternate method how we are able to arrive at the same answer with a different format thanks for watching bye, -bye.